The new property registration rules are expected to have dramatic implications for China's struggling property market. While concerns have been raised about whether the new rules will curb housing prices, analysts say unifying the register would have limited impact on supply and demand and that it benefits the property market as a whole. Hu Yinan has more. It's been seven years in the making. News of the unified realty registration system has again touched nerves across China. Some speculate that housing prices will experience a sharp drop, while others are worried that the new rules could pave the way for property taxes. Analysts, though, say that's a radical overstatement. It's not like the government can start collecting property taxes without new rules. It's just that things won't be as easy. Realty info in the big cities can be accounted for, but data in the country and the towns are hard to collect. Misunderstanding originated from online, where people said housing prices will drop after new rules go to effect, and that has sparked endless imagination. Industry insiders expect the new rules to act as a countermeasure to the housing market slump and help ease existing home buying restrictions. After the new rules come into effect, and with anticipations for the property tax exerting some level of influence, I believe home buying restrictions will cease to be necessary. If you look at the long term as a way of administrative intervention, the restrictions are not in line with the rules of the market, so they've got to be cancelled at some point. A unified realty registration system will offer an accurate reference for future policymaking. Some say it can also become an effective way to protect legitimate property rights. There will be a nationwide information sharing platform on property data. It's a very good basis for formulating national policies and safeguarding the smooth implementation of the property law. And as far as the real estate market is concerned, experts say the new rules' impact on overall supply and demand will be limited. Over 95 percent of second homeowners in Guangzhou have fewer than three properties. Only less than five percent own more than three properties. That small percentage of homeowners could potentially sell their properties after new rules come into effect. But their scale and proportion will not create much of an impact for the market. And in the long term, it would come to benefit both second home market liquidity and the reasonable price adjustments. The new registration rules come at a time when the declining real estate sector is anxious for policy support. Observers say the rules will serve as a critical tool to monitor market changes and, in the process, help China's anti-corruption efforts. As massive investment in property is often an indication of illegal gains by corrupt officials who take advantage of policy loopholes. Hui Nan, CCTV.